Hi guys, uh, in this session we are learning about dataset options. They are keep, drop and rename. Keep is used for keep the variables and drop is used for drop the variables and rename is used for rename the variables. By the dataset options, we can only control on variables not on a observations. The first one is keep option. For explain about keep, we take example from sans help dot class and I name the data set name test and I set sans help dot class and run. We run this program. Before opening data set log, log is clear and here we have a test data set. Here we have a five variables name sex, age, height and weight. Keep is used to Keep the variables what we need from this data set. Simply, for example, if you want to only two variables from this data set, we just keep that two variables in keep option. And keep is used in a two ways. One is as an option, one is an statement. First one we check as an option. Okay, keep option is in input data set. Okay, first we use keep option in an input data set. Okay, and I named the data set name keep1 and set test and we write here keep as option in the input here test is a input and keep1 is an output data set in the input we use the keep as an option now we run this code before opening data set check log log is clear and we open the data set keep1 here we have only three variables why because here we give name sex and age and these three variables only keep in the output data set name sex age like this keep is applicable now we can use keep as option in the output in the output data set then how it will be and i name the data set keep to okay and keep name sex age i use it the same variables for the understand purpose and set test we are running this code before opening data set check log log is clear and we open here we get only three variables what we need and that are mentioned in the output okay clarity now we can use keep as a statement also Okay, and I name of the data set keep 3 and set test keep name 6 and age run. Here what is the difference between these two and by these two here we have a two types of situation as an option as a statement. But here we get same output from these two situation but the writing process is the different. Here we are write keep as an option in the input, here we write keep as an option in the output, here we are writing keep as a statement. We are running this code okay, before opening, log is clear. Here we are getting same output, why because we only keep these variables name, sex and age here and we can write the multiple keep statements in a one data set then how it will be and I named the data set name multi and set test keep name keep sex keep age and run here also we are getting the same output and before opening data set log log is clear and I know for the multi here we are getting these three variables okay like this we use the keep as an option in different purposes second one is drop for explain about drop option we take an example from as help dot class and name of the data set name test and set science help dot class and run before opening data set check log at once log is clear and here we have a data set name test here we have a five variables name sex age height and weight for example if you want to remove some of the variables from this data set in this situation we use data set option drop and uh, we use the drop in a two ways first one as an option and second one as a statement first we look at about uh, as an option in the input data set 
and I named the data set name DRP1 and set to test and drop name height and weight and run. Before opening data set check lock, lock is clear and I am opening DRP1. Here we are only getting two variables. Why? Because in the drop we are using name, height and weight. In the test we have a five variables name, sex, age, height and weight. And what we drop name and height and weight. What are the except these two? That's why we are only getting these two variables in the DRP1. Like this we can drop as an option in the input. Now we in the same way drop as an option in the output data set. Then how it will be? And uh, I name the data set DRP2 and drop name height and weight and set to test and run. We are running this code. Before opening data set check lock, lock is clear and I open DRP2. Here the same output. Why? Because in the output also we are using the same variables here. And that's why we are getting only two variables, totally five variables and we drop the three variables. The remaining two will be in the output data set. Now we check drop as a statement then how it will be as a statement and drp3 set it as and drop name height and weight and run like this we use the drop as a statement and we are running this code before opening lag is clear and i open drp3 here the same we drop the three variables in the statement also and we are getting the remaining two variables in the output like this we can drop whatever and what is the number of observation we can drop from the data set and we can write the multiple statements in the drop then how it will be and uh, I name the data set multi and set it test and drop name drop sex drop age and run like this we can use the number of drop statements in the one data set and uh, i am running this code before opening log and log is clear and op i am opening multi here we have a name sex age and height weight and in this situation we are dropping these three variables and what are the remaining these two remaining variables are in the output data set and uh, this is an important note in the keep and drop it is we cannot use the same variable in the drop and in the keep okay we are getting it's a throw and error okay i show it and i named the data set to and uh, drop name here the same variable is in the keep and is in the drop okay in this situation it throws and warning what is that warning the variable name drop keep rename list this is an important warning we have to aware about this type of warning and to overcome this type of warning in this situation we just write this drop as an option in the input data set and we just drop that variable and run you got it and we are running this code before opening plug is clear and uh, I open the data set aware here simply what is the difference between these two situation in this situation we keep in the input in this situation we use keep in the output and drop in the output that's why it's throw an error in this situation we use keep in the input and drop in the output related that's why in these situations we are not getting any word that one is rename for explain about a rename we take example from sas helper dot class and name the data set test and set sas helper dot class and run before opening data set check log log is clear and test here we have a five variables here and if you want to rename any one of these we use rename option and before 
user rename option the user rename has in two ways first one as an action and second one as a statement and first one as an action in the input data set okay named the data set name ren1 and set test rename name equals to student name i just give in the in the place of name i replace with the student st name okay run we are running this code before opening data set check log log is clear and i am opening re1 here in the place of name before we have a name and we just a rename that variable into st name okay and the next one we can use the rename option in the output also then how it will be i named the data set ren3 and rename name equals to st name and another variable sex equals to gen like this we can use a multiple variables at once and a set test and run we are in this code before opening data set check log at once log is clear previous in the test we have a name and sex in the updated one we just rename that name in with the student name and sex with the gender like this so we can rename the variables in the output also and the next one we can use the rename is the statement also then how it will be and name of the data set ren4 and set test rename name equals to student name and sex equals to gender and run here we are running this code before opening data set check log at once log is clear and we are opening ren4 the name replaced with the st name and the sex is replaced with the gender before we have a name and sex and we replace with the st name and gender like this we can rename the variables as an action as a statement also and one more important note here we can't use a special character in the rename variables okay we can't use a special character and i named the data set splc and set a test rename name equals to st at rate name here not even at the rate if you use any one special character here we are getting the same type of warning here what is that warning a variable a is not valid are you understand here we can't use any one special character in the rename purpose please subscribe my channel click the bell icon like the video and comment below share with your friends thank you for watching